Okay, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I want to just do a final uh, prelude or final epilogue to this uh, this case. This this case came in with a fractured bridge, and of course these are solid abutments found off the shelf, uh, but prepped in the mouth directly. Uh, so they are stock abutments. Uh, patient's going to be returned to her dentist now to get new new brand new bridge made with new abutments. So here are the abutment screws that were removed. There were three of them, but the last one told a little tale about uh, about what what really did happen. She had a double fracture. So in other words, the shaft fractured away from the abutment. So that's inside this. And then here is a here's a double fracture. So now you've got the screw um that's still in the mouth and then and then of course this was taken out first and then of course then the uh, another screw back in there so that's how this all happened here's the other two uh almost magnetic the way they're sticking to each other so look how long now that one had a shaft on it let's look at the shaft on this bridge again open that up please and we'll look at the bridge so you can tell a little story here. See how the shafts are still on the bridge? But if I was really smart about this, um, I would have noticed there's no shaft on that abutment. Look at this here, and there's none on this abutment. See that? So that, I also thought, well, I had an easy one. I had a fracture that would come out with the stem. Uh, how easy that would be. And I found out that separated, and you can look at the topography, which I'll show you right now. This is, this is what you're going to learn when you do take these out. Look at the actual top topography. That told me right away that this wasn't just the screw that was easy to remove, and so easy it was. But look at the topography. You see the little lip right there? And that immediately told me it was not like a regular you know screw fracture and to continue to look and find the problem and here is a regular fracture you can see the topography and the end is usually a knob like that you see that knob and that knob is is uh, different you know from uh, from this one Let's see if I can get it see the topography so there's no knob there so again confirming that there was another piece so let's look in the mouth and our patient just uh, was so gracious to come back and have that second one done with these things sometimes you know if we'd have been in on this one last time while we we're filming it we'd have been there for probably at least five or six o'clock so just glad we came back we did it in two parts and maybe it ha things happen for a reason so here are the abutments all three healing abutments in place there are various types Let's not forget, um, you know, we're dealing with Brandemark. A lot of these parts aren't really made every day, so I'm glad we have them for her. We know they're 3.8 millimeter diameter, and um, again, if you have a case that needs to be rescued, um, please feel free to call me here at my office um, or email me. All right, take care. Thanks for watching. I click that off.